Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how Haley Lou Richardson makes shocking White Lotus confession. Let's get right into it. Haley Lou Richardson has quietly become a highly respected figure in the world of film, and the White Lotus season 2 is finally catching up to her. Portia, the personal assistant to Tanya, played by Jennifer Coolidge, the only returning main character from White Lotus Season 1, is played by Richardson, who has mostly made a name for herself on the indie circuit. Tanya told Portia, who is also Richardson's first series regular role on television, to get lost in Sicily until Tanya's husband Greg, played by John Grease, abruptly left their vacation. Portia returned to her assistant duties, and the duo soon encountered a group from Palermo led by Quentin, played by Tom Hollander, and his naughty nephew Jack, played by Leo Woodall. Portia and Jack fell in love almost immediately, but Tanya made a shocking discovery while staying at Quentin Palermo Villa in episode 5, That's Amore, when she walked in on Quentin and Jack having sex. Richardson felt surprised as both herself and her character when she read the scene from the script. Richardson tells The Hollywood Reporter, my reaction was inherently blended with Portia's reaction. She then added, my reaction was like, oh my god, poor Portia. Oh no, Portia. She's finally getting this thing that she wants, and obviously there's something that's not true. There's some ulterior motive with that. It's false. There's this other very different thing going on, so I felt for Portia as Portia and me. Meanwhile, when Portia arrived at the White Lotus, lamenting the existential dread creeping in from being constantly plugged in, she probably didn't expect to be both fulfilled and humbled by what Haley Lee Richardson describes as the most twisted adventure ever. Richardson told The Wrap, I do think it checked off like this extreme box being shaken up by life, because even though it was so twisted and heavy and dark, what was really going on with Jack and Quentin and everything, she still did get this adventure. She then added, it was like the most twisted adventure ever, but she got it. Only the reaction to star Haley Lee Richardson on screen wardrobe has been more dramatic than The White Lotus' twist and turns this season. Since the season 2 premiere of the hit HBO show in October, the actress's career, Portia's outfits, have sparked countless debates on Reddit and Twitter, with some crediting Richardson and costume designer Alex Bovard for perfectly reflecting Gen Z fashion and others simply calling the pieces bad. Richardson told people at the Fashion File X Fred Seagal pop-up event in Los Angeles, I mean, I could never have expected the intense discourse about it all. Richardson then added, people are very opinionated about her style. I had strong feelings about her wardrobe, but when you're making a movie or a show or something, you don't really, or at least I don't, think about what people are going to think of it. I just try to do what's right for that character I'm playing and I'm just thinking about that person. Throughout the filming process, Richardson said that Portia's wardrobe was very much a collaboration between her and Bovard. She said, I go into a project hoping that it's a collaboration with the hair department, the makeup department, the costume department, adding, figuring out a character's style informs me as an actor about who she is on the inside and who she is as a person. It's really important for me to be involved in and understand because it helps me get that person more. As to Richardson's favorite piece of Portia's wardrobe, the House of Sunny Swan Lake sleeveless knitted jumper seen in the first episode. She said, I get that it's an insane article of clothing, but I personally loved it. She then added, I love it so much because I feel like when I close my eyes and think of Portia and what she would wear in her day-to-day -day life as Tanya's assistant, it's that. When I think of her, it's classic San Francisco Portia. When Richardson imagines Portia shopping for herself, she imagines her going to Goodwill and finds some chaotic pieces there. She said, There's a top that I wear with the faces on it, and it was worn in the Princess Diaries. She then added, A lot of Portia's clothes are thrifted, and Alex would go to thrift shops and vintage shops and stuff and find those things. It's the best way to shop. Richardson also wore secondhand pieces from the online fashion resale website at the Fashion File event, including Hermes Fusion Earrings, a silver Tiffany heart tag necklace, and a Prada Satin Crystal Mini Re-Edition 2000 bag. Aside from her White Lotus style, Richardson has recently gone viral for her resemblance to a young Jennifer Coolidge who plays her boss Tanya in the show. During the penultimate episode of the season, Tanya even told Portia in one scene, when I see you, I see a younger version of me. She said, I'm honored because I think that woman is so hot. She then added, I saw those two pictures of us side by side and the eyebrows, the cheeks, and even the swoop of the hair are the same. Though at that time, Richardson couldn't say much about Sunday's upcoming finale. She did say that she thinks people will make sense of a lot of Easter eggs after it. Richardson added that she's yet to tell any of her friends or family about what actually ends up going down in the finale. That's all for today and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. 
Stay safe, guys. Have a great night.